Hi everybody. So there's a reason why Ubuntu is the undisputed heavyweight king of desktop Linux in 2023. It is without a doubt the most popular Linux desktop operating system on the planet with a huge developer and support base, massive community and wonderful, wonderful hardware compatibility. It's also pretty easy and straightforward to use, and it's also fairly intuitive. Being able to adapt its use case to anything that you personally want to throw at it. Now, most people demonstrate Ubuntu Linux out of the box in its pretty much vanilla form with its stock interface. That's pretty much what this is with a few little tweaks here and there done. Nothing heavy duty. But it's a way of encouraging people to make the transition from a keyboard and mouse Windows user to a predominantly keyboard with a tiny bit of mouse Linux user. And it's all early, easy first steps to making them from regular computer users into really accomplished Linux users over time. Of course, Ubuntu Linux unlike proprietary operating systems, is 100% free, which means the day you install it is the day that this operating system is 100% yours. And you can use it forever vanilla out the box, or you can adapt it and make it into anything that you want to make it into. And this is the key here. A lot of people will tell you, especially YouTubers, that Ubuntu is a newbie distro. It's for noobs, noobs only. And that is such an unfair statement because Ubuntu is very, very happy to uh, accommodate brand new Linux users. It's also very, very happy indeed to accommodate seasoned Linux power users. Very, very simple and easy to do. And the beauty of Ubuntu Linux versus a proprietary operating system is as well as the operating system being 100% free, the majority of the applications and the stuff you will ever want to do on it will always remain 100% free of charge. Some of them are contributeware, whereby you are allowed to make contributions to the developers of those apps, but you are by no means obligated to. It's very much a voluntary thing, but by and large, Linux stands for free and open source software. Now, unlike other proprietary operating systems, Ubuntu won't come with key loggers, adverts, spyware, malware, telemetry, and the list goes on. The other big advantage of Ubuntu uh, Linux on the desktop is out of the box. It won't drown your PC in background processes again unlike proprietary operating systems. Ubuntu Linux is designed for anybody and everybody, and with a few simple changes and tweaks, you can turn it in to anything you want to turn it into. So rather than using your mouse and a keyboard, by just using the keyboard, you can instantly launch the browser of your choice, which turns it into an absolute internet machine allowing you to easily and quickly navigate anywhere around the system that you want to. You can also do clever little things by doing what we call custom key binds which are very easy to do. Things like this reposition stuff on the screen. You could then instantly launch another application and instantly reposition that on the screen to somewhere that you would like it. You might be sitting there thinking, well, yeah, that's all very well, but it's of limited use. Well, it's not really if you think about it. So let's say you want to launch a terminal to do some terminal work and you want to position that on the right portion of the screen of your computer. You then want to launch a web browser to then follow a tutorial online. You can now instantly reposition this anywhere on the screen that you want, thereby making your workflow so much faster so much easier and all without having to touch the mouse. 
Don't forget, the mouse over time can and has been known to introduce both carpal tunnel and RSI, repetitive strain in injury. So anytime you can utilize the keyboard for super lightning fast, nice and easy navigation and control, well, it's an absolute win win and again you can modify these key combinations to your heart desire to make them very easy for you to remember and after a very short period of time these key presses will of course become muscle memory you won't even think about pressing them now of course there's lots of various different questions and misconceptions about linux can you turn it into a graphical workstation well of course you can just install a program like gimp and you've got the literally the photographic processing power at your fingertips. You can install things like Inkscape or Blender for you know 3D image generation, for doing all sorts of graphical and art type work. You can install your favourite code editor and become a developer power station, all with the speed and the security that Linux offers right out of the box you can also do things like have a very nice classy desktop plain and simple like this or again at the touch of a button you can turn it into something that's really rather special and unique you can launch programs via the mouse should you wish to do so you don't have to use keyboard shortcuts so you really have got the best of all worlds. Hell, you can even have a basic budget PC like this one, install Google Chrome, um, install the GeForce Now Chrome extension and be AAA cloud gaming without the need for an external graphics card or GPU. So you can instantly see why <coughs> a desktop distribution like Ubuntu Linux is the world's number one. Easy to use, reliable, stable, simple to update, absolutely intuitive, able to be molded into anything you, the user, wants to mold it into, and all backed by a name which far, far more people will have heard of than any other brand of desktop Linux. If it's been a while since you've tried Ubuntu Linux and you're a seasoned user, try it you might just be impressed with how you can totally and utterly make it your own clean, beautiful, lightning fast, simple distribution for daily reliable use, even on a budget low-end PC. If you're a Windows user, sick and tired of all the intrusions and the fact that actually you're only leasing the operating system, it's never ever going to be yours or belong to you, all you are, in effect, is a money-making hoe for um, another big global company. And you fancy getting away with it. Well, you could do a lot worse than something like Ubuntu Linux, which will instantly allow the operating system to be yours and allow you to enjoy the freedom and workflow that you would like to have on your Linux desktop. Please let me have your comments and interactions down below. What do you think of Ubuntu in 2023? Personally, I can see by a country mile why it's the number one Linux desktop on the planet. There's no other Linux desktop even comes close to it. Not even things like Linux Mint. They're nowhere near the volumes of what Ubuntu is on the desktop. So as I say, please let me have your thoughts, your comments, your feelings. Have you tried Ubuntu lately? Are you using Ubuntu today? Have you used it for a long while? Have you never used it? Are you a Windows user thinking of coming over to it, but you're a little bit confused about all the information, options and choices that are out there? Well, let me put your mind at ease. You cannot go wrong with a Ubuntu desktop install. It's absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another Wicked English Bob video.